Kendrick Thomas here on Infuse TV with Jimmy the Ghost Folk out of Gorilla Ground and Pound, mm -hmm. who's getting prepared for Rise of a Warrior 8. Mm -hmm. and this is going to be a first time fighting at Rise of a Warrior. You've never been there before, but I have to tell you, it's a big scene. Over a thousand people show up, and the spotlight's really going to be on you. And uh, your opponent, Steve Foster, same thing. He's he's been at Rise of Warrior before, but never fought there as well. So you guys pretty much are going to be pretty much newcomers at Rise of Warrior. What are you expecting when you step into the cage going up against Steve Foster? Steve Foster, what, what I got expected is everybody's got a plan until they get hit. And if you really want to know, September 8th, come out to the fight and see what happens. Because when you step in that cage, you don't think about nothing but the other opponents. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited. I know this is his first go around. I respect him for that. It's my third go around, so I'm ready for it. And that's you know, like I said, I talk with my hands, I'll talk with my mouth. So September eighth, it's all it's all. Now tell us about your gym because it's different from every other gym. You guys actually, you know, it's kind of more the raw uh, yeah, more gorilla style kind yeah. of. You know, you guys are outside, you guys do the hard training, wrestling, sparring, all around. It's a it's a family, it's an organization. I got my big brother was a wrestler, wrestler and everything. And uh, we call it the Devil's Playground. It's outside. We do like a rocky deal. We, you know, we do our own thing out there. And uh, I, like we said, we're a family. I got two brothers. I got an uncle. You know, Pooh Squad, Big D, Hula. I love all them guys to death. They're all got backgrounds of fighters and stuff. It's really excited. It's a real open deal, and we do real deal. Hula feels 105 out there. We do our thing. So. Really but you're no stranger to American Top Team. You actually trained at American Top Team in Vero Beach. Yes, sir. So you know Zach Sanford, who's recently fought on the card. Mm -hmm. You know Paulie Gloves, who's trained a lot of fighters, who trained at Horizon mm -hmm. Warrior as well. What was that experience like? Uh, I liked it. I liked it. Um, my problem was the vehicle deal. Um, I'm doing a lot of old style. I'm going back to the old style. Like my, my grandpa used to box, so I'm going back to a lot of that. Um, I even train with uh, Ray's combat kickboxing. I respect him. I've been training with him for years. I love America Top Team. I like to go back there and work on my jits and everything and see what happens, from, see what happens after this fight. Good. Yeah. Now, you're also good friends with Donnie Bush, who trains at America Top Team, who's actually Steve Foster's teammate mm -hmm. as well. And you actually go way back. Your wrestling coach also was actually teaching him as well. Mm -hmm. What was it like, man, training with him and uh, you know being close with him? We, we fought in the same card one time, me and Donnie, and Donnie's a great kid, and he's got he's got a long time in this sport. I'm proud of him. He made me proud. He, he was be like best friends with my little brother who wrestled, my little brother Houston, and uh, it's exciting. I'm, I'm excited. He, he's the reason why I'm on this card. I respect my little brother, my little bro for that, and we'll see what happens. Like I said, Rise of War 8, we, I talk with my hands, and I, you know, the thing about it is me and Donnie, he talks. I, and he backs up, backs it up, and I back up with my hands to see what happens. You also was involved in the whole situation with Ray Melvin and uh, Donnie Bush as well on Facebook with the calling out, and that's actually how you got a fight against Steve Foster. Tell us about that. Actually, Melvin called me out on Facebook. He's like, "You want some too, Daniel? I got you." Blase, blase. I'm like, "I'm not 155 pounds, and you wouldn't get me if I was 155 pounds." And now, you know, like I said, I don't trash talk the guy who called me out. I'm like, "I'm a heavyweight," and also, bam. Danny from America Top Team hits me up, hey, I got you a fight. And I'm like, I'm ready to go. It's a good time. So uh, I was going through a lot of problems at the time. First person I called my older brother up, like, let's get this going. We started doing this gorilla ground and pound. I love, I love the training with all of them. I'm hoping to keep doing them and trying to work with America Top Team on top of it too. See what happens for him. Right now, what do you know about your opponent? Even though he's never had a fight before, you know he trains at American Top Team. You know he's in heavyweight, of course, because you're fighting him. What do you know about him? Is he a sparring guy? Is he more of a wrestler? Actually, um, like I said, September 8th, we'll find out. I'd rather be like that, not know anything about some about one of my opponents, and get in there, meet him, do our thing, and I'll respect him. Win or lose, I'm gonna respect him no matter what. So, see what happens. Great, before this fight, how are you gonna be? Are you gonna be relaxed? Are you gonna be energized, uh, anxious? I'm excited. You know, um, a lot of people say that you got a plan, my best friend Clay McIntyre told me a long time ago when I started fighting, and he's a bull rider, he said, Jimmy, everybody's got a plan until they get hit. And actually, when you step in the cage, I've been in the cage before, when you step in the cage, you don't think about nothing. You think about the person across from you. There's only three of you. It could be 2,000 people, 2 million people at your event, and you don't see nothing but your opponent and the referee, and that's it. So I'm, I'm, I'm not nervous. I'm not scared. I, want, I wish it was tomorrow. I'm ready to do this now. That's really good, yeah. man. Any last words? Uh, I just want to give a shout out to my family from Gr Gorilla Ground and Pound. I love all you guys. I respect every one of you, Big D. You've been my big brother forever. 
Um, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to put GGP on top. So all, everybody around this the South Florida is going to know about Grand Ground and Pound. So like I said, we're a New York organization. Nobody knows nothing about us. And you all want to come train with us, you're more than welcome to. We train out in open field. Come see us. Great. Kendrick Thomas and Fuse TV, Jimmy the Ghost Hulk. Oh.